We are. Welcome aboard, guys. Matt here, country song teacher. Hope you're doing well. Now, here's your little behind the scenes. You say, Matt, how, do you, as an influencer or YouTuber, how do you pick out your content? Do you time block? Uh, do you do research? Well, as I was getting in the shower this morning, I said, Alexa, I don't want to say it too loud. No, oh, because it hurt me. I said, uh, play country music. And I said, whatever, whatever song comes on first, that's when I'll teach. And here we go. Memory lane. Old Dominion. Let me say it real fast too, guys. If you haven't checked out my new website, countrysongteacher.com. Uh, so far, a lot of y'all purchasing items, so I sure appreciate it. I'm running like a new special little deal each week. The deal going on right now this week is the Morgan Wall and Luke Combs and Sandbar kind of summer fun pack. So go check, go check that out, countrysongteacher.com. It's a fun little song. It's going to use a D, a G, an A, and a B minor. Y'all know on that, on that B minor, if you if you could play a bar chord, great. Eh, it wasn't bad for me. Or play an A minor, slid up two frets, strum the bottom four. If I could buy a house on memory lane, put my money down and sign my name. That little corner lot where it don't ever rain. See, stay good as new with a fresh coat of paint. Somebody always, y'all give me a hard time about always forgetting the lyrics, but nine times out of ten, well, one time out of ten, I get them right. Not this one. Pulling me closer, my head, your head on my shoulder, never let go, and never be over. And back to that D. So, um, I get, I, sometimes I just, um, I've, I've never had really trouble laughing at myself. And I always say, I'm a how country music artist remember all those songs. Okay, let me start out. Let me zoom in here. Okay, start with the regular D. I have the cable on the fourth fret and put it in the same key they played in. Go to the third string and bottom string of your, of your second fret. Again, relative to the cable. I, well, by the way, I'm using my carbon fiber close K L O S uh, guitar. I usually keep it up in my little farm, but I brought it back, brought it back here. I've been, been jamming this one lately. So, regular D chord, third, bottom, second. I can't even do the palm mute outside of your hand. Come use the strings. I can buy a house on memory lane. To go to that G, keep your ring finger on the second string, put your pinky on the bottom string, and then go up to fifth and sixth. Put my money down and I sign my name. Repeat it. Little corner lot, baby, don't ever rain. G, you say good is new, like a fresh coat of paint. Mine in China on Porch July. Yeah, my D is well. Mine is well lived there, baby G. Where I spend most of my time. So you see the whole verses go back and forth, D and G. So, so again, what you want to do anytime you're switching those chords, see if there's any string you can like, pivot on. So the pivot point would be, for example, the second string of your of your D. So there to D, there, and you can pivot back and forth. You add that pinky. Uh, if you want to play that D, you can. But I'll actually play a regular D this time. So on the chorus, the way I play A, I, again, I'm gonna keep that ring finger on that second string. I'm gonna press the two middle strings of the second fret. Strum, strum the bottom five. That B minor again is an A minor. Slid up two frets, show the bottom four. So it's gonna be an A, B minor, G, D. Think about the sunsets that bled in, jean jacket night, those tangled up morning, lost in paradise. Still drunk on that feeling when I close my eyes. You're pulling me closer, your head on my shoulder. We never let go, and we never be over. 
lot of times on that D chord, you haven't seen me do this, I keep my ring finger off the bottom string. So it's kind of just two strings, just third and second. I'm adding. People could always say, Matt, what's the strumming pattern? And I will always say strumming is about timing. The thing about, think about how long you should stay on each chord before the change. But when you're learning songs in particular, I would recommend kind of just chopping away down strums you're listening for. And remember too, like not all strums are the same. Uh, another tip I always give people when you're when you're strumming is you don't have to strum all the strings. So people think if, if you do a G chord, you're always going to get all six. You might hit those strum hard at first, strum all six, and then you're maybe just picking away on those middle three, maybe the bottom four. So again, don't forget guys, your verses are D and G back and forth. <coughs> Excuse me. Get my little boy's cough again. And then your vert, and then your chorus A. Got those sunsets that bled in those jean jacket nights. Those tangled up mornings lost in paradise. Still drunk on that feeling when I close my eyes. You're pulling me. So. A couple strumming patterns you can do if you're a beginner. You can just do those down, slow down strums to listen for that timing. Or you can kind of strum and stop. Think about those sunsets that played in those dream deck night. Those days on a morning lost in paradise. See the drunk on that feeling when I close my eyes. You're holding me. Does that make sense? That's one of the biggest things I do often is that the, the string stops. Oh. I've been jamming up. Uh, jamming, I've still been jamming at the new Morgan Wallen CD. Hear the wind Girl, it just don't last. Wait, no. Good whiskey. Girl, it just don't last when kid with me keeps bringing you up like that. But us what it was. Things I love got a way of getting gone too soon. Kinda like good whiskey, kid with me. I love that song though. Like I said, I'm still jamming at Morgan CD. What CD are you all jamming these days? Let me know in the comment section below after you go buy you a shirt, a songbook, or something on my new site, countrysongteacher.com. I don't sell pillows yet. Like somebody gave me this a long time ago. But maybe one day I'll sell pillows. Guys, check out my website, countrysongteacher.com. Like I said, make sure you subscribe. I do videos almost every day on this channel. Uh, I've been getting a little bit slower at work, so I'm kind of doing YouTube full time now. I'm going to try to shoot out a lot of videos on this channel and my other channel, Acoustic Selection. So be sure you subscribe to both channels, Acoustic Selection and Country Song Teach if you want more of this knucklehead. Maybe you don't, but maybe you do. Smash the like button. And until next time, guys, I love y'all so much. Please share the videos on social media. And if you know someone look, looking to learn guitar, tell them to look up the Matt McCoy first four chords. They'll be glad they did. Love you guys. God bless you.